So the other day I was ripping a board on my table saw and got it in a bind and it actually kicked off with safety function. I get it. Probably kept me from getting hurt. However, once I cleared it, it would not start back up. So I've tested this a couple things and I ordered parts hoping that that'll fix it. It could only be one of four things. The switch itself, the safety relay, the soft start, or the motor. So I've ordered three of the four. The motor I did not order. The three parts came in, the switch, the safety. I got this new switch, the new safety uh, reset, I guess it's called. And then the actual soft start. I don't think it's this. But anyway, so the three parts, uh, I had them on Amazon for 30 some dollars. We had a credit, so it cost about $20 for the three. So I am gonna start putting the table saw back together and see if I can get it running. Okay, so I've got my saw out. I need to take the screws off so I can actually flip this over. So it'd be much easier to get to all the electronics. All right, so you can see I've got the table saw propped up. So the switch is right here. There's, and then the safety or the reset button is in here. There's four screws on the front of the switch assembly to take that off. Then the back side you have, it's probably hard to see, but you have four screws here, two here and two in the, at the top. That'll get to the back side of the switch where all the wiring is. And then inside here, there's two screws to take this off. That's where the soft start. So you have, have the switch, the reset, and then the soft start all housed right here. So I'm gonna take those screws off. There's, like I said, there's about six of them all together. All right, so we've got four screws on the front. I've already got those off. I've got four screws back here in the back. I'll take those off. That's gonna access all the wiring for the switch the reset button soft start and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to replace just because it's the simplest thing to do is the reset which i don't think that's the problem but it is a just a plug and play type connection so you just pull one off and plug the other one in I do have the saw unplugged at the moment. But anyway, you can see the, the plug and play. It's, uh, it's, I don't know if you can be able to see that or not. You just unplug these. And you can swap that out. But like I said, I do not think it's this. But we'll we'll give it a try just because it's the simplest thing to do. And sometimes just because you don't think that's the problem doesn't mean it's not the problem. So And again, I do have the saw unplugged at the moment. See, that's not, I don't think that's the problem. So here we go. Nope, still nothing. I'm gonna go to the next, which I'm just gonna take this one back out. the old one back then we can swap the switch out because it's just a matter of plugging in as well
So you need to make sure you keep the wires. So I'm gonna write this down. Actually, you know, things about the phone, you could always take photos. So you could actually just take a photo of how it was wired. So on the one side, it's white, black, and gray. And the other side is brown, black, and blue, or blue, black, and brown. Two blacks, so you need to make sure you keep that, keep those separate. careful with these connectors because you can pull the wires right out of them. I did that yesterday. I was troubleshooting to see if I could figure out, or the other, not yesterday. Well, I guess it was yesterday. The day before. Alright, so we've got the switch swapped out. We don't believe it's that. So let's give this a try. See what, what happens. Ah, we just tripped a breaker. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Right, well, I think it's gonna be the other. All right, so we're gonna put the old switch back because I don't think it's that. about this is now I've got to open up the other panel. Alright, so these actually have ends and so I'm just gonna wire nut them together. So two of the these ends are actually two of the ends on these wires are actually connected to the connector that goes to the on off switch. So I'm going to replace this anyway whether it's whether it works or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clip the wires closer to this end on the old one and just tie them in with wire nuts because there's one that's already tied in right here so it's not going to be an issue and that way the connectors on the switch i don't have to mess with those rewiring those so before i do that let me make sure i have some wire nuts
room. So this cover actually helps hold this in place. Put that back on. We won't need to get to that anymore. So this doesn't work. The next thing would be, could be the, well, it would have to be something with the motor. And then I'd have to figure out if it's something I can repair or if I need to replace the whole thing. But little things first. I'm just putting that switch back in so it kind of helps hold all the wires back this way so I'm not fighting to hold both ends. So the blue and the brown goes to the blue and the brown. And the black one goes to the gray one. If this doesn't fix it, well, I guess I'll just... Also, they were saying some of them line that you could... I guess it's the brushes could be need to be cleaned I guess that's a possibility I was really hoping it was the relay switch or the not relay switch the reset switch that's what I was hoping for but after testing yesterday or the day before whenever it was I really didn't think it was because But I figured by all three, well, it's been a while since I've troubleshot electronics, so I could have been wrong. All right, well, let's see what happens. I don't have a blade in it as well, so I'm not all that concerned with. That is a sweet sound for someone who's needing a table saw. So it ended up being the soft start. Again, it's been so long since I've been dealing with electronics. Uh, but anyway, it was a soft start component, uh, whether it's a relay, I guess it would be a relay. Uh, anyway, it just says soft start. And that's kind of what I thought it was. Originally, after doing some troubleshooting, I actually bypassed the reset switch and didn't, it didn't work. But again, I wanted, I figured, well, crap, I could order all three parts for, like I said, it came to 20 bucks, $21. I've blown $20 on a lot worse things. So anyway... Do not have a blade in it right now, but, oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> it works, trust me. <laughs> oh, well. Y'all have a great weekend. The table saw is back up and running. That's awesome. <laughs>